If you're on the fence whether or not you think you should pick up the Studio G paints, I'm going to give you all the reasons why I think you should or shouldn't pick them up. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, Plamo Therapist here. If you want to learn how you can use Gundam or plastic model kits to benefit your mental health, or you just want to watch some therapeutic build videos and see some challenges, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification to stay up to date on any time I come out with something new. If you've been in the Gunpla hobby for a little while now, chances are you've heard of the name Studio Gundam, or Studio G for short. Recently, he's released a paint line that's come out under his name, and a lot of people have been wondering, should I buy this kit or should I not? I'm gonna talk about the facts of the kit, my personal opinions, and my overall recommendations of whether or not you should buy it. So stay tuned for those three parts because we're gonna get straight into the facts right now. The Studio G paint series is a lacquer-based paint series that comes in a pre-thinned format in a pore-type bottle. Currently, the only volume that you can buy now is 65 milliliters. You can buy the bottles individually or as part of a set. The full color set includes black, white, red, blue, yellow, green, advertised as a Zaku green, as well as two metallic colors, gunmetal and dark iron. Given that the product is pre-thinned, it is advertised as being ready to use for both airbrush and paintbrush. All right, so we finished the facts and now we're ready to talk about my personal opinions regarding the Studio Gundam G Paint series. Now, for full disclosure, I just wanna let you guys know, I'm no way endorsed by Studio Gundam, although I wish I was, but I purchased these paints with my own money and so this review is based on my personal experience buying the paints without any influence from Studio Gundam whatsoever. So let's get to it. The first thing I wanna say about the Studio Gundam paint series is that it works. This is a phenomenal paint line and I feel like Studio Gundam really put in the work to make a product feel really good. I've never had so much fun painting before and it really made me feel like I could do anything with these paints. This paint line feels like it was made by somebody who really knows what they're doing when it comes to painting. The simple idea of shake, pour, and spray makes it really easy to get started painting and spending more time focused on painting kits rather than spending time wasted on making sure your paint's thin properly and making sure you test it out to see if it's just at that right ratio to spray on properly. If you're like me and you've been painting for a little while with acrylics and you want to take that step up to lacquer paints, I feel like the Studio Gundam G Paint Series is the perfect product to fit that role from switching over from acrylics over to lacquers. On to my first critique. While the bottle is advertised as being able to be used single-handedly, I find it to be more comfortable and safer to use with two hands. Here's why. The first time you open the bottle is easy enough to be done so with one hand. The problem I find is when you want to reopen the bottle to add some more paints later on while you're painting. This means that you have to take your time to open the bottle that has a little bit of paint dried inside. And I find that just to be safe, it feels better to open it with two hands than to try to open it with one hand. So technically, yes, it is single-handed use, but it feels comfortable and safer to use two hands when opening the bottle. So the second good thing I wanna say about the Studio Gundam G Paint series is that the quick drying feature of it is not a gimmick. It actually works. The paint looked like it was dry in a few seconds, but I didn't wanna risk touching it, so I waited a few minutes before going back and adding some more coats. This is preferable to waiting an hour or even longer for some other paints to dry, ultimately cutting down the overall time it takes to paint and reducing my overall exposure to toxic fumes and chemicals. The second criticism I have with the Studio Gundam G Paint series is actually the small bottles. While initially I was happy with the 65 milliliter bottles to test with, after using it for a little while, I honestly wish I had more. Studio Gundam, if you're listening, make bigger bottles. This is especially true if you plan on mixing the paint as the bottle advertises. With a 65 milliliter bottle, you don't have as much to work with when you want to make some mixes. And unless you're going in with specific ratios that you set ahead of time, it's going to be hard because you're going to have to experiment to get the right color that you want. Furthermore, given that these colors are so iconic in most mobile suits, adding a little bit of extra paint is only going to make someone want to buy more and ultimately paint more. My third praise that I want to give to the G Paint series is actually the attention to the little details. When you get the bottle, you immediately notice the easy to open pour cap, but the things that I appreciate are the agitator that are included as well as the stop plug that is included to keep the paints from seeping out. Now, whether or not the stop cap was only included for shipping, the fact that he included it over a cheaper option such as shrink wrap really shows that he has the end user in mind and really thought about this product from start to finish. So my final criticism doesn't actually come from me, but a friend of mine. What he says is that that as a lacquer painter, the Studio Gundam G Paint series doesn't bring anything new to the lacquer world. My counter to his claim is that although he may not be doing something new, he's definitely doing something better. Sure, there are other pre thin paints that are advertised as being ready to use, but none of them as so clearly marked or as clearly advertised as the Studio Gundam series. If you're a regular lacquer painter and you already have a repertoire of paint that you use, then maybe this line isn't for you. 
However, I challenge you to switch out some of the bottles that you have with some of the Studio Gundam G Paint series and see how much you like them and see if they're worth it for you. Hey guys, before we get into my final review, if you've appreciated the content that I've put out so far, go ahead, leave a like. It lets me know you guys are finding value in the content. If you haven't done so already and you'd like to stay up to date on any time I come out with something new, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to stay up to date whenever I come out with a new video. Now, on to the final recommendation. Should you or should you not buy the Studio Gundam G Paint series? If you're like me and you've been painting with acrylics for a while and you want to step up to lacquers, the Studio Gundam G Paint series is the perfect product for you to get you into lacquers without any hassle whatsoever. If you've been painting for a little while and you want to replace some of the paint in your line with something that's easy to maintain and you don't have to worry about mixing it yourself, the Studio Gundam G Paint series can replace a lot of the core colors that the Gundam are known for and will make it really easy when you want to just go ahead and paint it up in the kit's primary colors. Now, on to the only reason why I would recommend you buying the Studio Gundam G Paint series. This is a big one. Guys, if you don't have the proper safety equipment or the proper ventilation to be painting with these paints, I highly suggest you don't get these paints until you have those things together. I want to make sure you guys are safe and you guys are building for a really long time and these paint fumes are very toxic so make sure you have the proper safety equipment and ventilation before you start painting with these things. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found some value in this content. Remember, take care of yourselves, take care of the people around you, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.